so uh, basically this is this demo will comprise of both it will just highlight both the function as well as technical aspects of hybrids so welcome to that so a, a very common question to all of you so why hybrids apart from any other technologies everything has plus and negative points but sometimes the plus points like this over goes like overdoes all the negative points so basically the the for me the most layman way of saying things that being a part of the IT world every one of us tries to get into a different kind of technologies and that how the upgradation of technologies takes takes place in our regular day to day life being a part of the IT segment okay so whatever is so Hybris is a obviously e-commerce streamer you are but the way Hybris is present into the market the way Hybris is booming into the market in terms of project in terms of career in obviously in terms of monitored perspective people with various ACP backgrounds, people with various Java JT backgrounds, rather people of any other background just moving into hybrid in order to make that mark in terms of the careers as well as in terms of their own future. Yeah, so this is actually a very layman and very structured way of saying thing that why you are into hybrid. Suppose there, there, there would have been any other technologies going much more ahead than hybrid, which probably not, but still people would have gone to there. So that is actually the best part, that best expression that we can have in order to learn highways. Because whenever in IT sector, we have we come across a technology which is close to our own domain, close to our skill set, we try to learn this in order to make our own position quite feasible, rather make, make our own position strong in the market. Clear. So in this demo, we'll just have an introduction how about the highways normal e-commerce architecture about Hybris function as well as Hybris. So basically in order to go inside e-commerce we have five pillars which actually structures the overall concept of e-commerce in various prospects, web shops. Now sitting 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the night you are probably thinking of buying a new cloth. Obviously you will not find the nearby shop open for you at that point of time. But you have your laptops, you have your desktops, rather you have your PDAs where by visiting a particular site, you can easily select your items and usually order your items, products. Ranging from small pin to large industrial machineries, availability of any products nowadays through e-commerce website has just been away by simply one or two clicks. You can easily make those selections, you can easily achieve those product levels, rather is, you can easily make those products available with a blink of an eye in front of you to so this e-commerce website. Again moving ahead with categories. Tens of millions of products available within hundreds of categories giving you the best filtering possible in order to reach your particular specific product that you always wanted to have. Not only it gives you flexibility of choosing your own very product rather sometimes it also gives you the level of customization that you can have over your product. Online payment Obviously sitting if you don't have any cash in your wallet you can easily go for the online payment sitting at 2 a.m. in the night within that wee hours of the time. But one of the foremost thing you should remember online payment is structured by a foremost important security backbone that e-commerce website has. Since online payment supports all kinds of sharing of sensitive data like an individual's name, credit card details and any other stuff. Hence, security plays a very, very important role as a backend of any e-commerce website and without which every e-commerce website will not have a single day or will not have a single second of existence. Last but not least, shipment and delivery. Utilizing FedEx, DTH, UPS systems, we can transfer your products from one part of the continent to another, from one part of the country to another. Rather, making the world a very, very small place to us to live in. So these are basically the five categories or five pillars which structure the concept of e-commerce in front of our eyes from a regular day-to-day -day basis. More specifically, e-commerce is customer user interface, product management, customer management, ACU and ACM, campaign management, auto shipping, newsletter, analytics, security and scalability. Customer user interface. Now every website, every shop owner on the street, they do everything possible in order to make their store, whether it is big or small they make their store attractive to the customers so that they can get the best of customers visiting their website or visiting their physical stores. So hence, 
Customer user interface plays a very, very important role that how you are giving that cosmetic angle or cosmetic view to your website or cosmetic touch to your physical store. Product management. As I was telling you, there are tens of millions of products over an e-commerce website and how those products are managed in terms of their detailing, in terms of their merchandising, everything falls under product management and how those each with time to time, how products are getting familiarized with the system, how customization of products are taken care, everything is being part of the product management. Now customer management. Mostly in case of B2B, where we have multiple layers like approvers, administrators, employee. So customer management in terms of giving their, approving their orders, giving their permissions, giving, providing some restrictions over them, it's what falls under the customer management segment of e-coms. ACU and ACM. Anyone having any idea on ACU and ACM? What is ACU and ACM? So actually what happens, let me give you a very layman type of example. Suppose you are on an e-commerce website. There are a number of, obviously there are thousands of pages of an e-commerce website moving from one account management pages to product pages, every other thing. Suppose you are standing, so you are away from the market and you have five kilometers journey towards your home, two kilometers over number of buildings and three kilometers by a normal road. So which road you will choose? Obviously three kilometers, right? Since it is having the optimum distance. Obviously you are not a superman that you will travel over all over the buildings in order to reach your home by two kilometers. So ECM and ACM is, there are number of pages over the system, right? So you can even go to one page number 10 by hovering to page number 20, page number 19, page number 15. Or you can straight away go to page number 10 by going to page number 5 or page number 6. Clear? So it is your movement over the website which creates an optimum level. The more complex, the more complex architecture your website will have, the more load time it will take. The more complex will be there, the more complexity will be there for you to reach a particular page suffering all other conditions. So all these things have been measured and we critically analyzed and hence you have the ACN ACN in order to give you a perfect optimum structure to almost all the pages of website and those pages how the things actually happen will come to know later in the sessions but those involve generic prequisitions but based on it all pages can be structured all pages URL can be constructed. Next comes campaign management. Now, a few months ago, when Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton were contesting against each other for the U.S. presidential elections, Uber supported Donald Trump. So, lots of people were like, oh, their sales rate also went high. So, all, all, like, all the different goodwills and the good things were happening to them. But later on, when Donald Trump was coming up, rather, he's still coming up with lots of controversial issues, controversial policies, people have started uninstalling Uber app because since Uber supported Trump and people are not happy with Trump now, so they are, they are just showing their anger over Uber app. And the way people are uninstalling Uber app, Uber actually made it autonomous for the uninstall to happen. So hence you can understand campaign management can not only boost a particular business by taking a particular character into rather particular popular character into concession, but at the same time it can also derail you from your main line of business if anything goes wrong while it is proceeding with this particular character or particular popularity. Next, auto shipping as I was telling you based on a FedEx, Pulet and other services auto shipping of products from one part of the continent to another one part of the country has become really really easy. Newsletters, suppose you are reading an e-commerce website but at that time one product is not available rather that product is in, was not in stock. So you are not able to buy that product, but you can obviously subscribe to that product so that in the future, whenever new stock of that product arrives, you will get notified and you can easily go to the product and you can check out whether you can buy those products. So hence, newsletter plays a very, very important role in notifying us. Thanks, Google Analytics. Your page, your e-commerce website is getting hit by how many numbers of people in what countries? It's a total statistical analysis made over the website that which country is having the best of hits over your website. So Google Analytics actually plays that role in order to highlight all this kind of stuff. There are various other layers of Google Analytics when you will come into the actual sessions, we'll come to know. Security, as I was telling you, e-commerce said without security is just a lame language, rather it's, it's just a lame la statement. You can't imagine e-commerce without security where today in terms of auto where 
boats are moving around the website, collecting data, data mining, giving all kinds of security issues to the website. So security plays a very, very important role in structuring the overall e-concept site. Last but not least, scalability. The more the number of products available over the website, the more scalable it should be. Otherwise, scalability in terms of reaching a particular product over the e-concept site becomes very, very hard. So one of the foremost important thing in order to structure any e-commerce website based on if you're aiming for tens of millions of products, scalability is by far the most necessity of all. So these are the actual, like in a, into a more detailed concepts of e-commerce.